But I want to get to this clip um, of Candace Owens. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love her. Candace, if you're okay. watching, please email okay, me. Okay. So now, now she's going to end up watching this clip. I love her. Please email me. Okay. <laughs> Candace, you've got her. some fans. So basically, I love her. Um, she talks about this concept of go make your man a sandwich, okay? Yeah. Should a woman go make her man a sandwich? Go make your man a sandwich. Go ahead, Candace Owens. That's what are your right. thoughts? Something that women say to me all the time. Why don't you make your husband a sandwich? Okay. Is he hungry? Does he want a sandwich? <laughs> like, it, it, did he say something? I make my oh. husband food the last four nights. I've made my husband dinner. Like, I don't understand this weird maker. Like, they, they are trying to shame women for taking care of their families. Like, that is another element of feminism that I cannot stand. There's, it's an attack on family and these things that work. It, it works. Right. Men are biologically unable to have children. So the aspiration to climb a ladder forever, to wake up every single day and, and not have to worry about being pregnant for nine months, I mean, that makes sense. We're, we're different creatures, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's like a troll, though, no? It's like all you're good for is like, yo, make me something to eat. No, they that whole concept came from rabid feminists. Like there was something wrong with being in the kitchen, right? Oh, okay. And this was sort of this push of women get out of the home and go to work, which has made so many women miserable. So many women miserable. Something that women say to me all the time. Okay, got it. Um, we talked about corrections and overcorrections. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a song that came out uh, in 1980, the Dolly Parton song, Working 9 to 5, oh, yeah. what a way mm -hmm. to... And all these women wanted to do was work yeah. because there was a yearning to get out of the kitchen. You know, we've seen the show Mad Men and women were disrespected, all that. So a correction was needed. All right, let's let these women work. But in, now an overcorrection is sort of in need where it's like women are like, I got to get out of this freaking workplace over here. Let me just go be a housewife or be a loving mother or to being a, a, a loving um, wife. So... Mm -hmm. um, so the, the con so I think this is really just a metaphor for the concept of feminism and what's wrong with feminism and what's wrong with being a housewife and you know you're talking mm -hmm. about a very smart opinionated capable woman Candace Owens I think we can all agree with that whether you agree with her politically or not she's no she's amazing she's she's pretty uh, she's kind of got it going on, but still, she's like, "Yeah, I'll make me." Is he even hungry? Like, <laughs> I think that's funny. Like, if he, so if like, yeah, if he like, wants to, yeah, if he's hungry, I'll make him a sandwich. But uh, the bigger question here is this, you know, concept of feminism and the overcorrection that is probably needed in society. So, Allie, as a proud housewife and okay. as a proud anti-feminist, right. what about feminism uh, bothers you the most, and what's the biggest lie that's being told to women? I honestly think that just feminism just cripples women because there is this whole other sector of womanhood from an economic standpoint that you can pursue outside of an education. And that's something that frustrates me, you know, in hindsight, now that I've cracked the code. Oh, wait a minute. If I stay relatively thin and cooperative, you mean that I have the potential to marry a man that can take care of me? I, I wish that was something that I had known sooner. I wish that I didn't feel so crummy in undergrad when people ask, what do you want to do? I'm like, well, honestly, I just want to be a mom because and I'm about to sound real gold diggerish, but I want to make it abundantly clear I am willing to do whatever my husband asks of me. I, I very rarely tell him no. Like, y'all can find him, email him, DM him. Mm -hmm. So I made more the day that I got married than if I had decided to pursue a PhD and take that career path for a decade. And that to me is like, well, why wouldn't I do that? And then I get to do something that makes me happy because to me, my my dream, and I think other women might feel like this too. And if you feel like that, then you know it's okay. My dream is more so to make other people's dreams happen like my husband's dreams or my kids dreams that to me is success and I'd rather take that career path and I can do that just staying home and taking care of people and I, I think that that is so sad that young women are walking around and they don't know that that's an option for them and the other lie that feminism says is that it's you know um you have all the time in the world to get pregnant when in reality it's it can be a challenge for a third of couples to get pregnant, but it's not just a challenge to get pregnant. It's a challenge to stay pregnant. So if you look at life beginning at conception, about 70 to 75 percent of pregnancies end up in spontaneous abortions. So your body just rejects whatever bad DNA replication occurred. Right. Very, very tiny. Women can be pregnant for like three days. They wouldn't know because the baby just never comes to fruition if they're mm. even fertile. So women think that they have this excess amount of time. In reality, if you want your best bet in a man or you want the hot guy who makes a decent amount of money, you have from 18 to 28 to really lock that down. So I'll, I'll get, you know, some skepticism about, well, what if this happens to your husband? What if that happens to your husband? Honestly, I have dual mating strategy with my husband. I have hypergamy to the max. I'm, I'm so grateful. Like, I think he's hot and he financially takes care of me. I don't want anything else. And girls, I mean, 
do it. Do it at 24. Like, screw it. Marry your professor. What do you have to lose? <laughs> like, what, do you, what do you have to lose? Marry your doctor. I was about to get a lot of uh, professors in trouble over there. You but know? I, I love how... Um, yeah. How all in you are on this. Oh, yeah. Sarah, Adam is single. Mm. That's true. Um, <laughs> Sarah, uh, A, you going to make your man a sandwich? I'm Italian. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Make him pasta. Yes. I, I, I'm completely fine with taking care of a man. Okay. That, that's just, that's that's being a partner. I think that feminism maybe makes women feel bad about that, but that's just like, that's human nature to want to take care of someone. Mm-hmm. Whether they're paying all the bills or you just love them, mm-hmm. why wouldn't you cook for them? How often have you had conversations with women that are like, oh, I'm not fucking going to make no man a sandwich. I'm not, I'm too good for that. Like you're saying you have that Italian motherly nature in you. Really? Um, do you ever like butt heads with other women have conflicting not ideology? About, not about that. About yeah. other things. What? Maybe. I don't know. I, I mean, I can't really think of anything off the top of the head, but like n- not about cooking necessarily. But like I do, I, I agree with what she said. Like feminism does, as much as I want to, like everyone should just do what they want to be able to right. do. What they what mm-hmm. they love to do. Like there was a survey I took in college and it was like, if you asked a woman if she really wanted to be a housewife, would you be happy working X amount of years? And they'd be like, no. And then you asked her the flip side and she'd be like, yes. And did vice versa. People just are going to be happier in the role that they want to be in. Mm-hmm. You should just mm-hmm. let people do whatever they want to do. But like taking care of your man to make that to shame women for doing that mm-hmm. that's wrong gotcha respect all right leia final word before we wrap up i'd be more you're gonna than... make some man a sandwich one day or what yes it would bring me all the joy in the world to cook for my husband um i'm more than happy to <laughs> what do you say about um, british people don't cook well well i <laughs> recently... on the british baking show <laughs> <laughs> i've recently learned some extra cooking skills i've a- i actually hired someone to help me um like in the kitchen and stuff so now my cooking skills are really really good um, but, but what i'll say um about all of that is um i actually don't think like women are happiest being entrepreneurs and being in the workplace i really mm-hmm. do think they are happiest um and i don't not at home i mean they are happiest when they're in their feminine energy which means being taken care of but also taking care of her her husband supporting her husband taking care of children being nurturing i think that's where women are most happiest and actually um sometimes it takes getting much older and experiencing all of it to realize like i saw someone doing some street interviews about like about this topic and all these young women were like no i want a career i want a career it was it was all the older women that had done it <laughs> mm-hmm. that turned around and was like no i want a rich man to take care of me mm-hmm. so if you like that clip Click right here to watch another, or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.